Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Two vibrating strings of the same material but length L and 2L have red eye, 2R and R respectively. They are staged under the same tension. Both the strings vibrate in their fundamental modes. One of the length L with frequency F1 and the other with frequency F2. The ratio F1 is to F2 is given by. Here we have given four options. Option A is 2, option B is 4, option C is 8 and option D is 1. And this question is asked IIT. 2000. Here we have using the formula fundamental frequency first mode that is f equal to 2l root t by m. Here f is a frequency, l is a length of the string or wire, t is the tension force and m. Here m is very important. m is not mass, here mass per unit length. So m can be written as capital M by L. So, what is the formula of mass? Mass can be written as volume into density, volume of the wire, means cylinder, pi r square, and length L and density rho upon L. L, L cancel out, then M can be written as pi r square rho. So, in the place of M, we can put here pi r square rho. Okay. Now, for the first string, first string length is L and radius is 2R. So, F1 upon 2L E by pi 2R square root. Then F1 equal to 1 upon 2L here root T by 4 pi R square root. Now, F1 is equal to here 2 root of 4 that is can be written as 1 upon 2, 2 to the 4, then 1 upon L, 1 by 4 L root T by pi R square rho. It is the first condition. For second condition, we have given second string length is 2L, but radius is R. Okay. For the second condition here, F2 equal to 1 upon 2, length is given that is 2L and uh, T, tension force and mass per unit length that is pi r square rho. Okay, so it is the second condition. Then first F1 upon F2, then we can see that is equal to 1. So here the answer is F1 upon F2 is equal to 1. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success. I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.